What's going on, YouTube? Biggie 546. As you can see by this score, the New York Giants have semi swept. You can kind of say we swept them. One was uh, a tie. And this game, we came out and won this game. I cannot say that I'm happy <laughs> like with how they played today. Um, that last play on Washington, I'll tell you straight up, Commanders fans, that should have been pass interference. And they should have gotten a fresh set of downs to try to score again in the end zone. Uh, but again, they would have had to get that two-point conversion again. So uh, we don't know if they would have done that. But I'm, I'm, listen, I am perfectly fine with a bad call going our way because it's gone a, a separate way a couple of different times uh, this season. Like, especially on this kickoff return today, I see a guy get held on that kickoff return where they return that off to like the 40-something yard line. I saw a guy get held, and that didn't get called. I, I see Aziz and and, uh, and Dexter Lawrence and, and Kayvon Thibodeau get held all day. But again, straight up, it, I mean, that was 100% pass interference, and it should have been called at the end of that game. They should have got three more downs. But um, I, I'm just happy to have this game. We're at 8-5-1. and one. That puts us one game above them, uh, above Washington. It puts us one game above um detroit and and seattle so we got to continue we got to continue to win uh we got the vikings next week that's a tough game that if we play like we played today we have no shot at winning we just don't we just don't have the dogs uh but shout out I, i'm gonna get to it i'm gonna get to it but um nice performance daniel jones's first prime time game 20 for 32 160 yards uh, 30 rushing yards. They got both of them, Daniel Jones and Saquon, doing their first, uh, doing their first prime time, <laughs> their first prime time win, and they're getting interviewed. This is the first time that you all will see this, people. This is the first time you all are going to see this. I mean, I guess the other one is uh maybe you can call prime time that uh Packers game. But I, I've never seen Saquon Barkley and Daniel Jones in a post-game primetime interview. So props to them for getting the win. Uh, Daniel Jones didn't have a tremendously good game today, but he was solid, which is all you can ask for, I guess, from this dude at this point. He was solid. Uh, like I said, 21 for 32, 160 yards, ran when he needed to, 35 yards on the ground. Saquon, 87 yards today. Uh, his best game in about a month. And all of his yards pretty much came on the last drive. About 12-yard run. Uh, I have it right in front of me. I have this right in front of me. Let's let's pull this up on this field goal drive. 12-yard run, 15-yard run, 14-yard run, 3-yard run. Then a 7-yard run from Daniel Jones. And uh, it pretty much fizzled out from that point, and we settled for a field goal. But that just shows how, how Saquon took that over in that vacuum on that last drive, which is what you need from your big time players. Um, the defense today was bad, but they were good. I don't know how to describe it. They gave up 12 points today, but they were bad. I mean, when I say bad, I mean, they gave up 7.4 yards of carry to Brian Robinson. He did whatever he wanted to do today, running the ball. He only got it 12 times. Uh, Antonio Gibson got it five times. You tell you total this up. Uh, 12 plus 3, it puts you at 15. That puts you at 20, 20 carries right there when you add in Antonio Gibson's 5. Then you add in the 25, so that gets you to 26 carries on a day. If I'm Washington, I would have I would ran this ball 35 times. I would have ran this ball 35 times because the Giants did not show me one bit that they could stop the run. I mean, I would have ran this ball a good 35 times a day. Um, Darnay Holmes... Had a, had a bad play. I don't know if that was his fault or if it was the safety's fault. Uh, and then Justin Pinnock. I mean, he could not have played this ball in the air that went to Jahan Dawson down the middle of the field. He couldn't have played it any worse. Uh, first off, I thought there was kind of a push-off by Jahan Dawson. Kind of pushed him in the back to get him out of the way and then went up to catch that ball. I thought that was kind of pass interference. It is what it is, but it... it I thought it was, and it ended up not being. So uh, he ended up catching that, and 
that set them up to 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 go ahead and try to score. And like I said, that was pass interference right there. So they should have got a fresh set of downs, and you would have thought that um, they probably score there. But, you know, you don't know if they get that two-point conversion, so I'm not going to say that the refs gave them a win. Uh, also, Washington fans, think about this. Think about this. I think we're even at this point because not only did were there some calls that went against us today that were questionable, also Dexter Lawrence was not offsides. On that missed kick last year, he was not offsides. He was not offsides. So listen, just call it even. Missed call that lost us the game. Missed call that lost you the game. So um, that's that right there. But the elephant in the room, the guy that I really want to get to, is Kayvon Thibodeau, who kind of fizzled out in the, in the fourth quarter. It looked like he was tired in the fourth quarter. But that first quarter, man, Kayvon Thibodeau had about four tackles for loss. I think he had three officially. Uh, I think maybe the other one might have been for like a yard. But three tackles for a loss, five tackles total, a sack, a forced fumble, and a touchdown. Kayvon Thibodeau, without him, we don't win this game. Without him taking over that first quarter, we don't win this game. I mean, tackles for loss all over the place, chasing people down. The guy from the defensive end spot had... 12 tackles total, and again, a sack and a touchdown. And I don't know why it's not showing up for uh, Kayvon Thibodeau and, and the official stat sheet on NFL.com, but he scored that touchdown for uh, for us. Um, Aziz, half a sack. Dexter Lawrence with a half a sack. Dex forced that fumble on that sack. So, again, the, the defense was bad, but the defensive line was good. The linebackers, not good. Not good. Uh, the secondary, not good. We're missing McKinney. We're missing Adore Jackson, and it shows in the worst way. Hopefully, Adore can come back because if not, it's going to be more tough sledding. We're not going to be able to stop most teams. Um, but this offense has got to be better. This offense put up, uh, what, 13 points today when you take away that seven points. So this offense put up 13. We got to do better. We got to do better. I mean, the beginning of the season, we were putting up about, what, 23 a game, 24 a game. We got to at least be able to get to that on offense if we want to be able to win uh, this this week against the Vikings. Because if our defense steps up, if Adore comes back and, and rises the play of this defense, we're still going to need this offense to put up at least 24 points a game, uh, 24 in a game. So we got to get to that number. We got to get back to that number. Um, but Washington has a good defense. Philly, of course, has a good defense. So maybe this is just more of defenses doing really well against us that are really good defenses. And uh, maybe we can do something against the Vikings and the Colts. Then maybe we can run the ball, get up to 150, 160 yards with Saquon again. So that's where we're at. Um, shout out to Kayvon Thibodeau. He definitely gets the game ball. After that, I would give it to Saquon. After that, I would give it to... Uh, I guess the defensive line as a whole, I wouldn't give it to Daniel Jones because, I mean, he, he just kind of played his role, didn't do anything special, but didn't hurt us. So, um, again, happy we won this week. Going into a tough Minnesota game. Uh, somebody in my chat right now, I'm in the live stream, somebody in my chat, Maximus, brings up a good point, exactly where I was about to go. Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook is going to be a big problem. You think Brian Robinson is a problem? Dalvin Cook is going to be a big problem if they can't fix this run defense. I mean, that has to be a huge focus going into this next week that you have got to solve the run defense. Because if Dalvin Cook is going to go out there, uh, they'll stay with Dalvin Cook and hit you with a play action to Justin Jefferson. They'll stay with Dalvin Cook, and he'll have 280 yards because they – could not stop the run at all today, and they couldn't tackle. So um, I think that's all I got for this week, people. Solid win. Solid win. Um, happy we got a win the first time we got a win in a while. Gritty win. Starting off at 6-1. and one. Now we're 8-5. and five. Shows how we've struggled this last month and a half of the season, but happy to be there at 8-5. At and five. and uh, we can get one more win. I think we're in it. Uh, you guys have a great rest of your night. I guess if if you if you're 
There's no more football left. I hate to have these primetime games. But guys, have a great rest of your day. Have a great week because um, this is playoff football. This, this is our first playoff game, and we won it. So next week, we got another playoff game. A week after that, we got another playoff game. These two games up here, we got to win one of these next two. So hopefully we can do this. Hopefully we get this, this done and get into the playoffs for the first time and, and literally forever. So uh, I'm out.